take off for you. Perfect weather for a flight out of Nice Côte d'Azur, don't you think? We're on runway 22 left and we're cleared for takeoff. Taking off in an A320 obviously requires more speed and a longer runway than a single engine prop plane. But luckily, we have some extra tools at our disposal to make the job a little easier once we're airborne. For starters, the auto thrust manages engine power to maintain a target airspeed. Autopilot will keep us on track with navigation, and the fly-by-wire system lets us maintain a consistent attitude without needing to make constant adjustments. When I give the word, you're going to execute a straight-out takeoff. After you complete the initial climb, I'll take the controls. The rotation speed, VR, is 131 knots. I'll call out when we reach it. You just need to begin a gentle rotation by pulling back on the side stick. Don't exceed 10 degrees until you've lifted off. We need to be aware of three different detents. CL, the thrust setting we will be in for most of the flight. Toga, to take off at full power on short runways or when performing a go around. And for today, FLX MCT for a reduced thrust takeoff. We reduce thrust at takeoff to preserve our engine life and save fuel. As you can see on the engine warning and system display, I applied the parking brakes earlier. Whenever you're ready to take off, go ahead and remove them. Okay, we're ready to go. Apply half forward side stick. Then move both thrust levers gently forward to 50% and one. Then move them to the flex detent. Okay, now the auto thrust is armed. Use the rudder to keep us on the center line. Flyby-wire doesn't need a lot of corrective input. 
Just keep making small adjustments to pitch and roll as necessary. See the screw on the dash above the PFD? Use that as a guideline to keep us centered on the runway. Look to the right of the runway at the four colored lights called Pappy. They'll give feedback to stay within a three degree glide slope all the way down. We're a little too far out to read the colors yet, but when we're closer, the four lights will tell us how we're doing. If the Pappy shows two white lights and two reds, then we're on target. Four white lights means we're too high. Four red means we're too low. At 20 feet, pull back on the stick to kiss the runway, but be careful to avoid a tail strike. Turn the side stick to neutral. Spoilers and auto brakes are activated. Another great job. At this rate, you'll be the one teaching me how to fly. <laughs> 